In this video tutorial, we're going to see how to select stars and galaxies from a complex image without the background, without the black background. And uh, you may need to do this uh, in case you want to make a semi-transparent background or extract an element. And um, of course, if you're working in Photoshop, the best way is uh, if you want to overimpose an image like this onto something else is to just use the blend modes and, and uh, use you know, screen, light, and overlay, any of those things. Um, but if you need to actually select it and uh, put it outside of Photoshop somewhere, uh, I'm going to show you how to do that. And so here is an image, and uh, there's a little... I just made this in Photoshop as a swirly galaxy thing here, and uh, some stars. So it's not something that you can really use uh, any kind of selection tool to, re to, to get. And uh, the colors are really they're different enough where a single color range doesn't quite cut it. It's not going to quite do it. Um, and so to select uh, to select this thing you just need to go to channels and then uh, since the image is red uh, most of it will fall under the red color channel and so we're just going to click on that and this will turn black and white and you'll see uh, everything that had red cha color channel in it and so we're just going to select it so this uh, little button here uh, will as it says load channel as selection so we're going to load the red channel and uh, select everything and so uh, now that everything that we want to select is we're going to put it right back to full colors to RGB and then um, make sure the layer is selected that you want to yank this from. Uh, just uh, go to edit and copy and um, we just copied uh, our we copied our selection so we're gonna see what it actually looks like and create a new image. So new image and then edit and paste and this is what it looks like so uh, let's put a little black background just so we can see um, what it's gonna look like if it was black. So as you can tell, um, uh, it's it's a little bit. It's not quite as vivid with color as um, as the original. So this is the original, and um, this is what we have over here. So it's a little bit dull. It doesn't it didn't quite select everything that we want to select it. Um, and so to fix that, uh, let's do that again. Select red and uh, load the selection and put it back to um, all colors. Uh, you can change the selection by going to select and uh, it's uh, no, it's not transform selection. It is um, refine edge. So select refine edge, and here you will see. So this is pretty much kind of what we got um, before. And if we want more. Uh, you can use various different things. You can use feather, you can use contract and expand. So let's use the contract expand and put it to maybe, you know, 100%. Um, and the selection will be a lot more vivid. And uh, here you can see it against the black background. What it's going to look like. This is how it was before. And this is how it is now, which is a lot closer to the original. Um, uh, but if you want to put it in a white background, it's probably not the best because it's going to give you a lot of these other artifacts, which are, um, they'll, they just look kind of dusty, but if it's a dark background, it may not matter. So either way, let's, uh, let's, let's put contract expand to a hundred and click okay, and then edit and copy and then go to our new window. And, uh, in this, instead of this layer, we'll, uh, create a new one, edit paste, and here it is, and it looks pretty much just like the original. Except that it is actually transparent. There you have it.